Oh, I just smoked the back. These are overwintering Japanese onions. They're ready to go out now, but I don't know whether to put them in the poly tunnel or put them in a raised bed outside. I haven't made my mind up yet. I was going to try them in the, in the poly tunnel to harvest them roughly about May next year. So I may try that just to see what happens. It's the 17th of October and we've had a little bit of a respite in the weather. I think this is uh, yesterday the first day it hadn't rained in October. And it's focused more rain now for later on today. So I thought I'd come over the allotment and get the garlic in. So we've just um, we planted most of them so So we've planted uh, 48 garlic now and we've got the, the last eight now to go in by here. We've dipped holes about two inches deep down we just pop the garlic in there and we'll just rake it over with the fire and find compost then. So as I said about we plant them at about an inch below the top of the garlic so we're gonna have plenty of garlic for next year. And um, we're going to put in some overwintering onions as well. These are Sencha Yellow. They produced quite well again last year. They're 100% of the whites produced and 100% of the reds failed. So we're not going to do any reds. We're going to wait till the spring to plant them. So we've just been tidying up. That's a new bed we're doing. It's everything saturated over here. You can't do a lot. So it's just a few repairs I'm doing now. And I'll nip over town and get a few more plants to go in this little box where there's a couple of headers. So I got a couple more headers and I may get some pansies now for the last few weeks of the autumn. So we'll see how it goes then. But everything's uh, up to scratch here. As I say, it's just tidy up there. The party tunnel's got to be repaired. So we don't know when we're going to do that. It's leaking like hell. So we've, we've got everything ready, all the timbers, all the the cover is all ready to go on. We just have time now to do it. Weather permitting, so I don't know whether to do it this side of Christmas or wait till after Christmas. So, so we just uh, planting the onions now. What I, I, I like growing them in uh, the cells by here. Just gives them a better a start. And you just plant the whole cell, so I just pull this out and get the, the whole cell like that so it's had a good start and the birds sing they don't pull them out as much like so we just we the same thing with the garlic and we just uh, plonk it in by there just firm it in and it's done so it don't take that long to do them and as I said it gives it gives them a good start now it's to save the cats and the birds pulling them up. So we plod along with this now. And I'll come back to you a bit later. There we are. It's uh, it's all planted. We got uh, 56 garlic in. And we put 40 overwintering onions. This gives you a little start in the spring. You know, these will be out now by the end of May. So I'll have onions until the main crop will come then. So it's all done now. Just gonna have a. I just got, I'm gonna cover this now with a net, just to stop the cats mainly, because the cats there's a lot of cats over here and they digging up and fouling everywhere. But on the other hand, then they keep the rats down, so we can't complain. So I'm just gonna cover this now. It's the 13th of October now, and we've had nearly three gallons of apple cider vinegar so we've jarred it up now and this will remain here now for well indefinite until I use it I'll leave, I'll leave it about seven months before I start using it there's a nice taste to it but I did pick up a little bit of mold where the new scoby had formed it did go moldy but everything under that scoby and that was on the top of the water but everything under that scoby was okay so I am gonna use it we'll see anyway 
it's going to be used mainly for cleaning and for the check-ins and things like that but it should be okay well we've had nearly three gallons and I'm quite happy happy with the way it's tasting so that's just a little update We've just made uh, another batch of sweet tea, so we're gonna put this on top of the scobies now, and we put them away now. So that should be okay for another another year. So we're all done for the day now. Less than an hour. I've been over here less than an hour. What's it now? It's uh, 10 o'clock. Since the, the dark mornings have come, I come over here at about 7 in the morning just to feed one of the boys' chickens. And I come back about roughly now just to potch about, so I'm all done. So this is the new bed we just filling up. We put some wood shavings on it just, to, just for a bit of humus. And uh, that's got to be turned over by there. That's for the beans. We've got pigeon manure on that. The local uh, pigeon fancy has dropped it off. It's strong, but we put it down. And I've just been uh, making a pathway. There's a lot of um, clearing of uh, land going on around you. So they shred in all the trees. So I nabbed all this as a, as a mulch and as a pathway. So I'll get some more tonight now to finish us off. And we've virtually done for you. This is what I've got to clean out now. This bloody cooch grass. It's terrible it is there. So we're all done. We've just covered the onions and the garlic now. So that'll keep the cats off for a while. Only for about a month or so. Till the garlic comes through. And otherwise everything's run cup. We've got two sprouts just left in. That's all we got in. There's a few on there. So we're looking by you know, there's nothing in the polytunnel. It's gotta be repaired. This is what I gotta do. I'm gonna do the same and I'm gonna put memory down here. I gotta dig a, a French drain or first for there. So membrane and cover it with uh, mulch. It'll be a bit tidier then. Where are we going here? There's nothing in here now. There's uh, one habanero plant and one firecracker chili. So we're going to try to overwinter them. I've never tried it before, but I've watched a few videos on YouTube. And that'll be a start for next year. So I'll just do two chilies down the house now. Hopefully these will overwinter all right. I just hacked them down. The letters are flying up. These are uh, winter destiny. So I don't know whether... I was going to put the overwintering onions by here, but because of the repairs I'm going to do in here, I thought better of it. So I think I may put some more. Oh, I got the any house. I've just sown some shallots, the seeds. And I've done some more spring onions, so they will go in by you. But it's just uh, batting down the arches now and wait for the storms to come through. I think it's going to be one a weekend now. So we're all done over here. I gotta get a new flag. That's how it that up. So we gonna go back for a coffee. So I'll catch you all again.